Well, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Snap Up Political. So glad you're in the building. Appreciate all of your support, guys. I really, really do. I can't say it enough. I really appreciate the, the positive, encouraging comments and also those that may have different views, but the people who are commenting who, you know, we can share how we feel and it's still cool. I appreciate you because that's that's what it's all about. Everybody doesn't think the same, but let's just, you know, discuss it. So subscribe to the channel, guys. Share the video. Like it, comment, and let's tap in. And you know what I had to do. I got to show you my shirt. Yeah. Okay, I told y'all, I, I, I feel even more proud with this shirt than I did when I had on my Obama shirt. Because when I put that Obama shirt on when he was elected and I voted for him back then, I just felt great, as most black people did. Let's keep it real. But, you know, now that we know who he really is and what, what their administration really is about, ain't no way. Ain't no way. So, I feel even better with my Trump 2024 shirt on. Come on, people. Let's go. Okay, guys. So what's on the agenda today? I'm talking about, and I want you guys to chime in, about this snatch and grab mess. So I had to do a little prayer before I got on here. Because you know, Aunt Jesse May and Uncle Jethro, they coming back, y'all. They coming back. They, they coming back. And I know I spoke on them a little couple of while a while ago. If you guys are just new subscribers, go and scroll down. Go to Sample Red Instagram and check out some of my um, videos. Scroll down with Aunt Jesse May. Because she for real. She been talking about it. And she talking about getting her, uh, making sure her guns and stuff straight before she come up here. I said, Jesse May. She said, because y'all got some foolery going on in California. Yes, we do. Okay, so the snatch and grab is real. Your governor in this state has put a law in place that allows criminals, people who steal, to be able to steal merchandise from stores, business owners, and not be charged with the crime. It has to be under $950. So one business owner I read has marked his stuff up to 950 buddy i mean come on let's just tap into some of these videos so it's going to be a little longer today because i want us to tap in and then i got really something good at the end so let's go let's tap in here to a pursuit after a robbery at a brea macy's thieves took off in a car and then they tried to get away by ditching their getaway vehicle for a ride share ktla's orange county bureau chief chip yost is in brea tonight with more on this unusual turn of events chip yeah, and a lot of people affected by these alleged thieves who led police on a pursuit. For one, you had students at this elementary school put on lockdown. For another, you had a rideshare driver who was pulled out of his car at gunpoint because of these alleged thieves. And then you had a dentist office where these alleged thieves went to in order to try to hide from police. Around noon Tuesday, police were already outside the Brea Mall near Macy's when they got a call about a theft that had just happened. We got a call uh, from Macy's about a grand theft that was occurring. Our officers saw the suspects get into a car. They tried to stop that car and the car led them on a high speed pursuit. It was a relatively short pursuit. The suspects were driving very recklessly and our officers were not able to keep up. Thinking they had lost the police, the suspects apparently ditched their car near Laurel Elementary in Brea and ran into this dentist's office. Oh my God. We were having lunch and they came in the front door and this woman acted like she was having a heart attack. I responded going through my emergency protocols. And then he got, okay, somebody, oh my gosh. Help the people, Jesus. And we were treating a heart attack victim, we thought, but uh, eventually she started feeling better and all of a sudden she said, oh, I feel much better. And they jumped up and ran out the front door. Wow. Yeah, I think that was all a ruse just to get away from the police. 110%. Absolutely. Oh it was very quick. It was a good ploy. The suspects ran out to an Uber or some other type of rideshare car one of them may have ordered. But when they did, police were right there. Good. So our officers started responding to that area and as they arrived they saw the three suspects getting into what turned out to be an Uber or Lyft, some type of a ride share and uh, detained those uh, suspects and the ride share driver as well not knowing who he was. It's not an uncommon thing for us to have that and for Uber drivers to go through that and it's never a, a pleasant experience obviously to, to have not. the police you know detain you at gunpoint and call you out and think you're a suspect of something when you're not so um, it, it just it happens from time to time and as soon as we can, we, we release them and send them. Okay, so the criminals started out in Macy's. 
thieves. Now, in the very beginning, the anchor, the news anchor said, an unusual, ain't nothing unusual about a thief. They've been here since the beginning of time. And now we have the, the governor in the state of California is putting these laws in place that's allowing criminals to get away for certain things. I mean, come on. I'm being mindful of my words because I got a whole lot to say. And who are these people? What do they look like? Keep, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Send them on their way. Now, in all, all four suspects believed to be involved in this have been taken into custody. Great. There was one suspect Wonderful. who was taken into custody at the mall, and then so three great. other suspects involved in that pursuit all taken into custody over here. It was two men and two women. Two women were involved in the pursuit with another man. Another man was detained back at the mall. For now, reporting live here in Britain. Okay, guys, so that's just one. We're going to keep rolling. Searching for 30 suspects who burglarized a high-end store at the Americana at Brand. The thieves made off with $300,000 worth of merchandise. KTLA's Alina Abovian is live in Glendale with the details. Good morning, so Alina. go to jail. So this is Glendale, California. Hi there, that's right. At least 30 suspects made their way into the YSL store at the Americana on, uh, brand here in Glendale. Now we were able to confirm these numbers with the Glendale Police Department saying that they did take a lot of merchandise. And this happened yesterday around five o'clock in the evening and it was caught on video. Take a look. Look at this. Yeah, big shock to witnesses who were around to see it all go down. This brazen robbery happening here at the Americana. Many people taking out their phones and capturing this video, oh which has gosh. now gone viral. And again, we have confirmed $300,000 worth this. of merchandise. YSL is considered a high-end fashion brand with some handbags ranging from $5,000 to $10,000. Oh now back out here live, I'd like gosh. to introduce you guys to this is Sergeant Victor Jackson, a Look PIO with the Glendale Police people. Department. Thanks so much for joining us this Okay, so that's the biggest problem that I have. There may be other races because you see the mask and stuff pull up. I'm looking at the legs to see, but I see more people that look like me that's doing this foolery. So where is the rational reason? What, what's the rational reason behind this? This has really heightened because of the new law that's put in place. So what makes a person think, but if you criminal and you got a criminal mind and you a thief and you already vibrating on a low level, this is like come up season for you. But what you don't realize is it's called the law of reciprocity and how God work. If you don't get it right now, oh, it's going to come back. And what you don't realize is you're being set up for something even greater. So this, this little law in place right now and you think you're getting away with stuff. But watch how the tables turn and some other things people we need to be zooming into. So not only have they allowed this to come in place, now they want to start changing and doing some things to the gun laws. Y'all people better wake up and smell the coffee. If you don't get yourself in order to get your stuff straight, to know what you need to do to protect yourself and your property, I don't know what time it is. You better learn some self-defense. And if, if you don't want to carry a weapon, a, a gun, you know, then what else, what else can you use to protect yourself? Cause somebody start they so if they come in the store, you don't think they're gonna try to come kick your door down and bust through your door? Are you gonna try to talk to the people and be real rational? Come on now. And let me hold it. Let me, let me just. I'm being real. I'm being real good. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. Cause Jessica May was going in. She was saying some words that I just ain't gonna say on this YouTube channel. You heard me. Okay, Jessa may not. She don't have no problem letting some cuss words coming out. And I have gotten so much better, guys. I truly, God has cleaned my mouth up. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. But uh, I got some, I got control. This really frustrates and angers me to no end. This morning, what can you tell us as far as the investigation goes? Just last week, there was another similar robbery or an attempted one at a Gucci store again here in Glendale. So this is an ongoing issue here. Correct. The Gucci uh, incident that happened with the Gucci story was not successful. This one, unfortunately, was. Um, we had um, officers about 4.50 p.m. yesterday. We re received calls of this ro burglary occurring. Um, our officers were on scene within two minutes. And our first priority, of course, is the safety of the of the patrons and the staff. Um, but we did have a short pursuit. Um, um, there's an investigation ongoing with with suspect information. Um, where in these police, where in the policemen out? You know, it's been a decrease in police now across the state. And I'm sure pretty much across the nation because of, because of 
because of the Black Lives Matter movement, the criminals, the crooks that had the company, the nonprofit going that was taking all y'all's money. Right, that, that got their houses straight and their organizations fat and chicks and did nothing for the community. Oh, yeah, those people. Those people. Um, but they did get away with a large amount of um, merchandise. And we also heard some initial reports that the suspects, Look about 30 of them, at Look least at 30, this. they jumped into several cars, possibly 20 of them, anybody. and fled the popular mall here. Correct. Um, be between at least 30, because you have what, what was the group that actually went inside the store, as well as the, the group that was staging in vehicles that fled the location once they responded with the or came back with the merchandise. And we hear about these smash and grabs all the time, but rarely do we hear about a crew this size. Why do you think they're doing this? In, that, in these circumstances, Four, they kind of overwhelm the staff of the store. Uh, they all come in simultaneously. That's the staff what? doesn't know how to respond. Low, They're trying to figure out what's happening. Low level. There is no rationale. Oh, because their due process? Because of uh, retribution? Because their people were enslaved? Our people were enslaved? Mm, please. Ninja, please. Whoo, boy. Yeah, I almost said to other one. Come on. Don't play me. No, don't play me. Happening, um, we start getting calls from both inside the store and, and outside the store. And by the time we respond, they have fled in multiple directions and multiple vehicles. And it's going to be hard for us to pinpoint at any given time. And one last question. A lot of witnesses yesterday. This is, of course, a very popular mall. Some people wanting to intervene. What's your advice if someone uh, sees something like this to stay, stay away, of course? Yes. This is something that's not usual for Glendale. Our, our community is very protective of this of the city, of and course. we understand that. We want we have to be protective of them. We don't want them to intervene in something like this. This is ultimately a property crime that we're not going to stand for, but we want them to be safe priority. All right, Sergeant Jackson, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. So again, as you heard Mr. Jackson say. Okay, guys. So yeah, they're not going to stand for it. So and see the law for the state, I guess, varies different based off of the city. So you got your state government, then you got your, your, your city, you know, laws and who. So what are your thoughts so far as I go to the next video? I just wanted you to see now, this all deals back to political office. That, that's the whole point. It's all the, the laws and things that have changed and what's going on in political office. These people that we're putting in office, I, I hate I ever voted for Gavin Newsom. I now clearly I didn't have no clue. I did my homework. I looked and saw some of the things that he stood for. I don't, know, I don't even remember who the person was that was running against him. I, I really do because honestly, I'm sorry. I feel like this state is going to be turning into the purge. He just looks so fake to me. He just looks so plastic, meaning he doesn't even look, you know, genuine. He just, he just looks made up. I, I'm sorry. That's exactly how I feel. And it's quite obvious. Guaranteed, he's protected. Guaranteed, his place is straight, his loved ones, his family, they're not dealing with this foolery. But it's okay for you to set this law in place for these merchants, these business owners to have to deal with this, people in their community. Oh, I, I guess it's because you're feeling sorry for them because some of them can't get no jobs. Because some of them had to had to resort to crime. Because bull crap. Don't 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 play me. That's 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 a lame excuse as we as black people want to keep on um, continuing to use and abuse because you're sorry you're lazy and you're trifling and your mindset is low that's exactly how i feel about these people because these this is a choice that they're choosing to do that's exactly how i feel and saka sherman oaks department store in the latest flash mob style robbery this is the ktla 5 news at 1 30 i'm lou parker so and i'm glenn oaks, walker California. the lapd is still looking for the suspects in yesterday's incident and KTLA 5's Omar Lewis is live outside the Westfield Mall in Sherman Oaks with new details. Hi, Omar. Yeah, good afternoon. We spoke to a woman who was inside that mall when this all happened. She says she heard someone say that those robbers, they had a gun. So she grabbed her grandmother and they ducked for cover. This all happened at the Macy's fragrance counter here at the Westfield Fashion Square Mall in Sherman Oaks. We can show you the video. It was caught on cell phone video. Folks in store inside that store say it was absolutely terrifying. I bet and see, I was just thinking my mom, she likes to go to Macy's. We have a girl's day coming up. I can't even imagine experiencing anything like that with her. I mean, oh my gosh.
This is absolutely insane. Uh, take a look here. You can see that flash mob grabbing handfuls of perfumes and colognes, and within a matter of seconds, they were out the door. The LAPD tells us this all happened right around 1230 in the afternoon yesterday, and they're this now on the hunt horrible. for at least nine people who took part in this robbery. The news of this latest flash mob robbery here in Sherman Oaks came on the same day look that police announced Negroes. the arrests look of 11 suspects people. in connection with a series of flash mob robberies. This taking place across LA County, including this robbery that you're looking at now that happened at the Topanga Mall on August. And this makes us black people look bad. It sure does. That's what pisses me off the most because you look like me and you doing this for what? 12. The arrests were made by the detectives from the newly formed Organized Retail Crime Task Force, which was created earlier this month to stop that growing number of group robberies targeting retailers all across L.A. County. Take a listen to that shopper who was inside this Macy's as she describes those terrifying moments. Right, yes, send them to jail. My grandma, she, she it's hard for her to walk around, so she was just sitting there. The poor lady was scared. And also, when I went downstairs, there was a worker at MAC who told me um, there was an elder woman who heard it all happen. She was on a wheelchair, I mean, a, a walker, and she was so scared she had to literally crawl behind the counter, and she was just kneeling behind the counter, shivering. Oh it, it's getting gosh. out of control. It is. Thanks to your governor. Yeah, so that shopper went on to say that people were pouring water on themselves to calm each other down. Oh my uh, she also says that she hopes that this mall beefs up and increases security here. We also spoke to a mall employee who says she's hoping for the same thing so that robbers don't target her store. Back out here live, police tell us that those uh, robbers, they took off in about two cars. No description on those cars at this moment. Of course, we will keep you posted as soon as we get any updates, but that's the latest. For okay, guys. So, okay, another one. Yeah, Wayne, what are your views? This is out, outlandish. I mean, there's no excuse for the foolery. There's no excuse, but it, it, it has happened because of the new law that's put in place. So if you have people who are already criminal minded, who are already vibrating on a low level, who don't want to get out and work, who want to stay, who want to continue to use, you know, government funds that we pay into to help those people who need support. Now, I'm truly for supporting people who need the support for an extended amount of time. People who are disabled and who have disabilities, that's completely different. I'm talking about these full grown, able body, mind thinking for themselves, make decisions, can talk and, and choose to be sorry, trifling and lazy and don't want it and want to use our taxpayer money and people's hard are I mean, Macy's is a, is, a, is a chain of department stores. Whoever Mr. Macy's and Miss Macy's is, they, they created this and other stores. You have independent business owners that have stores, people coming in and taking stuff from. How, I mean, how, 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 who, how dare you? But you just don't know. You're setting yourself up for something, for something worse. All right, guys, I'm, I'm wrapping this thing up. I got two more. This one real short, and but I got the other one at the end that we really going to dive into because that one, whoo, boy, I got something for y'all for that. So that looks like an independent store owner. Uh, I was sitting in my office and I heard what I thought was gunshots. So uh, really loud, literally sounded like gunshots. I told my staff, I yelled at everyone on the floor. I got on the floor, pushed the panic button. I waited till uh, I heard what I thought gunshots stop. I grabbed my gun and I came running out. Um, I was sitting at my desk and I heard a loud, a loud bang, so I thought it was a gunshot. But then I look up and I see the guys with sledgehammers breaking the window. I got down, I was pressing the alarm button, and I, Peter, I just told him to shoot him. I go, can you just get your gun and shoot him? <laughs> right, exactly. She said, just shoot him, just shoot him. People, you, you coming into people's place. This is a private gun owner, I mean private store owner who has arms. So at what point do you defend your stuff? Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of stuff that you've invested in so you can leave a legacy for your family. And you got low level mindset individuals that want to come and take your stuff. What are they going to do with it? They may keep some, but they're going to sell it. They're going to keep some, but they're going to sell it. Shoot them. Defend yourself and your property. That's how I feel. She said she wanted him to shoot the person. And by the time he came out, they were just gone. 
What did they get? All of our watches, a lot of jewelry, very expensive jewelry. Uh, the suspects fled on foot. Uh, however, they left the vehicle that they traveled to the location behind. That vehicle was reported stolen out of the city, city of Long Beach. We, at this point, detectives are following up on all the leads. Uh, we uh, believe that there was another vehicle that was used. The only preliminary uh, information on that vehicle that, that I have right now is that it was a white Audi. For the your folk, people that look like you. Yeah, this is this is throughout the state, guys. This The one state all of this foolery is happening in. Now, I don't know how it's going on in your city. Uh, you know, I know that this has been something that has transpired, you know, over time. I heard about this in Atlanta, you know, but it uh, a year or so ago and even recent. But now it has truly gotten out of control. It just is. This absolute makes no sense. No, this is the one guy. Welcome to beautiful. We going to talk about. So bear with me for a little longer and I'm not going to watch the full video, but I want us to pay attention to some things in this video and we're going to discuss this. So this is another snatch and grab situation, but this one played out a little bit different. Welcome to beautiful Beverly Hills. It's not only happening in Venice, it's also happening right here, one street off Rodeo Drive on Cannon Drive. I think that's where we are. There's been a lot of smash and grab, people just running into the store. And I believe that's what happened. Somebody ran into the store, tried to get something out. And they here. just ran off. And the security ran after them and police was here like this, boom. See how fast the police got there? Literally. Wow. Cause you're in a whole nother side of town, good people. You in Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is like a separate city within Los Angeles. These people are paid for top security. It's homeless you, you cannot find. Now, you might see it around the areas that are surrounded behind Beverly Hills, but you won't catch it over there because these people are paying the big bucks to have y'all uh, low levels <laughs> detained right away. So these people got caught. So glad so glad yes they're on the ground because they've been detained maybe this lady don't seem to be re resisting but it's still a, a brown person no el motivo va a una posible que se pegue so we got i guess is that a man I, I, it looks like a man it could be a woman with a low haircut i can't tell maybe it is Oh, it's a woman. Well, it's like a woman. So she's having conversation, no, no, no. communication. Okay. So now you got this man here. Pay attention to the man, because this is the highlight for me. So who is he and what? Why is he there? Who is he and why is he there? Why do you think he's there? Why do you think they're there? Because you have two people that look like you who've committed a crime, a, a snatch and grab in the wrong area. So why do you think they're there? They didn't come there just because they wanted to have lunch and tea and sit on the side of the road today and look. They came there because they were called there. Why are you here, clown? Black people like this disgusting. Why are you jumping on a black girl and everybody acting tough, right? You hear what he's saying? You hear what he's saying? You hear what he's saying? He's saying that it's a problem because now they're detaining a black girl. No, it's not about the color. It's about the crime and they happen to be black. They chose that. So is, it's okay for them to go and steal stuff that they didn't pay for in these stores and just to get away with it. Ooh, boy, stop. These mindsets right here, I can't understand it. You're also contributing to the problem. So this on that Black Lives Matter mindset right here, obviously. They commit, you commit the crime and you the time. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what race you are. You commit the crime. Be prepared to do the time. So we're not putting in no retribution. We're not putting in no racism. This ain't got nothing to do with that. She should not have, she should not have been a thief. How about that? How about that? And you see how many pulled up. It just won one or two, bro. They, about to, they brought the whole squad because you're in a whole nother area. So please sit down somewhere. And I don't understand why they didn't detain him, but I know what goes on in the area. <laughs> 
See, he was in the wrong person's face because at this point, it would have been on. I'm sorry. I don't care how mad you are. Why are you in my face? See, this is the mindset of people, of black people now, that want to so-called stand up for the rights of black people that's committing crimes, that's doing stuff that they ain't got no business. And that's okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This don't represent me. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It don't represent me. I don't stand for this. I don't agree with this. And this idiot of a black man, because that's exactly what he is. And it's, it's, it's a wonder that the man did not slap him and get into it because you invaded my space. You need to be an arm's length distance. It's, it's called my personal space. And if I feel like my life is at threat, I'm going to defend myself. But see, he didn't feel that way. Great for him. He didn't want to cause an altercation. He was a thinker. He became a rational thinker. And that's what we have to do. We have to be rational thinkers. So I'm going to stop it right here. So that's what I really want to discuss. I want to discuss the fact that you have an angry black man who wants to defend two black women who stole from luxury stores in Beverly Hills. People are standing around looking. You doggone right they standing around looking because your folks over there commend crimes. And, and the popo got called. So they came and they got arrested. And it, got nothing to with, it has nothing to do with them being black. And that's what gets me. We got to stop this foolery, good people. We got to stop this foolery. Ain't nothing cool about that. Ain't nothing cute about that. This don't make you look good. This ain't got nothing to do with retributions. It shows, it shows how low level and trifling and sorry you are. It really does. And that's just how I feel. It shows the mindset that you have. And what you don't realize is you're being set up for something bigger, man, people. That's how you know they ain't even own that. They're not even looking at the consequences. They don't even think about it because they're thinking and they can get away with it. No, sir. You plant them seeds, they're going to come back. You reap what you sow. That's the law of reciprocity. That's what God's word says. You plant the seeds that are going to come back. And he and vengeance is his. But I will say this. As a store owner, as an independent business owner, do whatever you need to do to protect your property and your business. That's your family's mouth you're trying to feed. These folks don't care nothing about that. In your home, make sure you do what you need to do to protect yourself and your house so you can feel safe. And be knowledgeable of whatever the laws are in your city. You may want to have protection so far as a lawyer and seeing what type of groups out here that um, that give you representation. Because that's how you are now. The people who don't do the crimes and get attacked, we're the ones that have to deal with the actions of protecting ourselves and our property after the criminals come in. So it's time to be smart and equip yourself, good people. It's time to be smart. It can't be walking out here and not and not no and not have any knowledge base because this is the day we live in today because these elected officials that we've put in office ain't really concerned about the tax the taxpayer the law the people that's going to that's going to work they now concern with the criminals how how twisted is that now you got some type of empathy for these people yeah they may need help then get them help after they go to jail and commit and, and, and pay the time and whatever they get let them deal with their consequences behind bars or whatever else the fate may be. Then those that who are in jail, get start getting them the help then. That's what you do. All right, good people. I had to share this because if you don't, once again, it's time to wake up. It's time to stand up for yourself. It's time to know what's going on in your city, in your state, in your county. So we can make some decisions and make some better choices. Oh, it doesn't stop there. If you feel the need to type up a letter call your local government then definitely do that i know that they have town hall meetings is what they're called you know in your meetings there they meet with us in our community to discuss these things yes we need to be there yes let's show up but most importantly guys we got to put the right people in office because this ain't it this is not it at all Give me some comments in the, in the comment section. Let's get into this conversation. I love you guys. I appreciate all of your support. Keep being amazing. Keep being wonderful. Keep educating yourself and keep being great at what you do. I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Yeah.